Hey everybody, Matthew here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I optimize my Facebook ads to get the absolute best segments out of them to pump my Facebook ads budget into and get insane ROASes. Now, before I do that, guys, remember, I give away a free mentorship call every single video, and all you gotta do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll be entered to win. And the winner from the last video is right here. Congratulations, message me on Facebook and we'll set up a time that works for both of us. Now guys, let's get into Facebook optimization because this is so important and you can do this at any step, by the way, if you're a beginner or even an intermediate. And I'm gonna show you that right now. All right guys, so let's talk about why you should be optimizing your Facebook ads account and then I'll jump onto my own ads account and show you guys how I go ahead and optimize my advertising. So the whole point of this is to stop advertising to unprofitable segments. And we do this by taking a look and breaking down our ads into a bunch of different groups to see which ones are performing well and which ones are costing us a little bit too much money and eating away our budget. We're also going to reduce the cost of acquisition or the reduce or reduce the cost per result. We're going to learn about our target market and that's actually going to be a very powerful tool for us in the future when we have more data and this is also how you create truly unbelievable ads. So very, very profitable ad sets. All right, guys, so now let's jump on to my ads account. And this is one of my other ads accounts that I just started. And this is basically what I use to just test out new programs on one of my stores. And as you can see here, this is a lookalike audience, one to 2%. And for some reason, it's performing better than my 1%. And you know, that's just the way it ended up being. And if we take a look, you know, right off the bat, we can just look at these stats. And if you look, I spent $101 to make $26.77. So a very unprofitable ad at face value with a 0.26 ROAS. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just make sure it's highlighted, go to breakdown. And the first thing I'm gonna always do is click age. That's always the most important. And now, as you can see, we've broken down this ad set into even more data. So now we can make even better data-driven decisions. So if we look here, for example, this one, the youngest group of people, which is 18 to 24, we've reached 3,000 people, but only 283 people have gone to 75% of the video. So that's not really that good. That's a little bit less than 10% of the people it's reached. Whereas if we look at 65 plus, right, these people are pretty engaged and tend to watch a decent portion of the video. And same goes to 55 and 65. So if you're in that early stage of making your ads where you're in your PPE, getting impressions, trying to make a lookalike audience, this is an important place to look because in that initial stage, you can actually optimize and start advertising right away to the right people. Now, again, this is just a very basic place we can look. We can also look at the CPMs as well. So for example, from 18 to 24, we actually have a very low CPM, $6.68. And we have a few at the carts and a few checkouts initiated. But the thing that we got to realize is that we can reach 3000 people. So we can target to, we can get 3000 impressions for the cost of 1000 impressions on 65 plus. So that's just something to consider and one thing to look at here. But again, it's not always the most important metric. So obviously, let's go look at purchase. So right now I have this campaign optimized to add to carts. What I want to do is try to get 100 add to carts as quickly as possible and then make a lookalike audience based off those retarget the other add to carts and see how that works. So it's just a new strategy I'm testing for you guys to see how it actually ends up going. And as we actually look at it here the only purchase we have is in 65 plus so we've only spent $14.69 and the conversion value for a purchase is actually $26.77 so if we look at the ROAS here it's 1.82 now that's pretty good right especially going from a 0 0.26 to a 1.82 and this is the thing, a lot of you guys have ad sets like this that are running that seem unprofitable at first, but what we gotta do before we can really say this is an unprofitable ad set is break it down and create a new ad set using only, for example, this age range and keeping all else equal. What we can also do is just clear the breakdowns and hit gender, right? We can look at male and female. And if we look here, we spent $67 on females. $34 on males, and we actually have a purchase on males, whereas we have no purchase on females. So that's just one thing to consider as well. And we can just keep looking here as well. We can also look, I know that the platform is only iPhone. I'm only targeting iPhones with this one. We can also look at the placement here so we can see which placements are doing the best. So our purchase is from a newsfeed. So, you know, maybe newsfeed is where we should be spending all of our money, even though Facebook kind of automatically does this whole part for us. But if we look here as well on the Instagram feed, we have seven add to carts for $2.63 per. So the cost per result is actually much cheaper on Instagram feed. So 
if I was doing this, and again, if I was using my strategy to try to get 100 at the carts, I'm just trying to play around with retargeting and all that, then maybe I would create a new ad set where I'm just targeting feeds. And the most important thing is when you're creating new ad sets, you wanna keep one thing different. So just change one variable. And that's how you really split test properly. Now you don't always have to do this if the data is conclusive, but with something like this where we only have one purchase, I would be testing different things. So I would be doing a Instagram feed without changing the age. I'd be changing the age without changing the placements and so on. I hope that makes sense. And again, you guys can just go ahead and go down this breakdown and just see what works for you. But otherwise, guys, that is how I go ahead and optimize. I'm gonna go ahead and create new ad sets based on this. I'll probably make, you know, within this campaign, do one to 2% edited, and then I'll talk about the edit in that. That's how I'll, I'll name it. And the campaign name for this is just video viewership 75%. So this is my 75% lookalike audience. Now I'm gonna show you guys my other ads account here. This is my most profitable ads account. Remember, if you have trouble with any of this stuff, click the first link to sign up for a mentorship call with me. You know, it'll really change your life. 30 minutes with me is unbelievable. I have incredible testimonials on my website that you guys can check out as well. And as you guys can see here, if you do this properly, right here I have I have about a thousand purchases here. So 1,500, sorry. And if we look here, we can actually look at the cost, but you know, we can take a look at other stats. And when we, once you have a ton of it to look at, this is pretty optimized, this is what you're gonna get, right? So I've noticed that these are my most profitable ad sets. And obviously, you know, at a 5.45 real ads, that's when you take only the most profitable parts and totally market those. All right guys, so now let's talk about the second step, which is the next step. So once you actually do this and what to do with this data. So what you are gonna do is just create new ad sets, ad sets, testing the most profitable aspects. And then you're gonna think about how you can improve your ads to better meet, meet the needs of the customer. So for example, with the 65 plus, let's say I had more data to make a decision on, because like I said, this was a pretty early uh, optimization, if you were to call it, then we don't really have too much data, but if we did, and that 65 plus was, you know, that's it, they have all the sales, well then maybe we're, we're gonna try to think about what 65 plus year olds are going to be doing. So what I do is, you know, maybe just think about how life is as a 65 year old and think about the pain points related to the product I'm trying to sell. You know, for example, like if I'm selling a toothbrush and all the sales are coming to older people, maybe I'll like show a video of, of dentures being brushed with that toothbrush and maybe that'll appeal better to them. I can change how my product pages run, change the product points there and change the ad copy as well to better suit the needs of these older people. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you have trouble with any of this stuff, click the first link to sign up for a mentorship call with me and you know it'll really change your life. 30 minutes with me is unbelievable. I have incredible testimonials on my website that you guys can check out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.